leadership flashing with brilliance and excellence. Leadership impacting society with peace, love, and hope. Shining the light for America, the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Hello and welcome to the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. It is so good to talk to you guys, really and truthfully. Um, t- today is the day I'm actually getting caught up on my podcast. And yeah, Claude's right. Uh, what he said in the podcast about woke capitalism, because I'm beginning to feel saturated with the political news again, I am going to be going through... From May the 8th till, uh, I guess, the 19th of August, a suspension. I may talk about something every once in a while if it, if I think it deeply affects us. But I'm not sure to talk about stuff about leadership and the like. And you may think, well, well, tell me why. I want to go back and address the Seventh Amendment. You're like, give me why. Because I feel like I touched a, a tender box the other day. Yes, I I believe what I believe about the Trump uh, prosecutions. But I also believe, I also believe that it's important for us. It behooves us as a nation to read the Constitution. And I know, I know, I know, I know it looks uh, t- to be honest with you, it looks uh, it looks intimidating. It does. Okay? I'm, I'm not going to deny that it, it, it doesn't. Um, I think part of the problem is a lot of us, we don't want to invest that time. We don't want to invest that time. And that's the sad part. And we need to know what our freedoms are. We need to know. what the Bill of Rights are. We have a right to know. Now, I'm going to a lot of websites right now to try and the pure, unadulterated Constitution of the United States. The problem is
the problem is I feel like the way that they're teaching people, I worry that the people think it's, it's going to be a waste of time to want to read it. And I, I got to be honest with you, I think that's sad. We as Americans, if we love this country, if we care about this country, we need to read our Constitution, okay? Does it sound daunting? Yeah. But you know what I think would help us? I've, I've thought about talking to my bishop about setting up a Constitution class in my church. Because there's one thing I'll know about for sure. So you guys know. The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints has a position of political neutrality. And I gotta, I gotta tell you something. That warms up my heart. That warms up my heart. Now here's the Seventh Amendment. The questions, here, here it is exactly. In suits of common law, uh, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be uh, preserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be other, uh, otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States than according to the rules of the common law. I think this covers civil law, possibly even criminal law. But I'm going to pose you a question. Can Americans learn to know the rights that are in the uh, in the Seventh Amendment and even the responsibilities? And I haven't even started with the rules of answering that question yet. Number one, don't use the yes-no toggle switch. Number two, don't use the reactive, it depends. Okay? I know it's the political uh, season, and it's known for us to, to yammer on and complain. But I'm not down for that right now. I'm getting saturated again. And I think that the... the Suspension will be towards my sanity. But once again, the Seventh Amendment, right to jury. I'm sure this is for criminal trials as well as, as the thing is, though, in criminal matters, the waters can be muddy. But I think that also works in how even civil matters are being sensationalized. The legal system is being sensationalized by the tools being used in our degenerate culture, which can be used for good. The rights in the Seventh Amendment, a trial by jury for criminal and civil matters. And, and, and you know, I watch little clips on YouTube of this show that I've grown to like, and, and I don't know, sometimes I question what what is taught there. It's a divide in this country of what causes crime. Some say it's a matter of race. Some people say it's a matter of economics. I'm probably going to agree with my good friend and brother podcaster, Father Michael, it's about what's right and wrong, okay? And that's why I am, uh, yeah, I know I'm a Latter-day Saint, but I'm still going to call for this. 
for Americans to be to to become saved. If we're going to understand our Constitution properly and the liberties there are, and and I know I'm going to anger some people, but I, I got to say this: we need to get closer to Christ. That's a, that's a, okay. The Seventh Amendment. I want you to think about it. The, the, the founders of the Constitution, they wanted a good opportunity for all. But our schools, I'm afraid, are teaching our kids to hate America, take the freedoms that we got. I got this adoptive nephew, and I worried about what he was being taught. But after having f- further discussions with him, I understand he's got a good head on his shoulder. He's not, um, he's not being, um, he's not being taken over by, you know, the liberal thing. The thing is, I still worry about what's going on with our kids and what's being taught. And that's why I think they should they should learn the Constitution. But we need to, I agree with President Trump. We need to bring religion back in. We need to bring it back in. The Seventh Amendment. Trial by jury. I want you to get a hold and I don't necessarily agree with this man all the time. I want you to get a hold of some some uh Anything that you can get on uh, with David Barton and the stuff he may have about the um, biblical rationale of each part of the Constitution. Maybe even something having to deal with the Seventh Amendment. We focus on each one, right? We focus on each one. But trial by jury. I say, why not? Why not? But I'm afraid. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. My fear is that sadly... What we're getting to is is uh, the least common denominator in teaching the Constitution, our rights, and our responsibilities, as well as teaching right and wrong, right and wrong to our kids. What are they learning? I feel that the degenerate culture is turning some people's beliefs about the founding fathers to be a joke. When I believe with every fiber of my being that the founding fathers were God-fearing people. Were they perfect? No. In many ways, I want to say something about that, but I'm going to lead that to um, a show where I'll let, uh, you know, one of my alter egos take over. But me, myself, right now, just me, Jimmy, I kind of want to keep it respectful. What's wrong with studying the Constitution with the original intent of the framers? I mean, I saw that news story about pro lifers being. Uh, Upset with Trump about not having a federal ban on abortion. In, in, in a way, I do understand where they come from. Abor- abortion is for America an evil scourge. But right now, this country needs consensus in order to keep it from going into self self destruction. People kind of want to peg people politically. You're a Democrat. No. 
You're a Republican. No. You're a centrist. No. Labels. Details. Unimportant. What am I politically? I've said it on this show a number of times, and I'll say it to my dying day. I am a conservative federalist. Back to the original intent of the Founding Fathers. And I think they would be deeply saddened by the contention and rancor. People, people walking around on both sides of the aisle saying, hey, where's my rights? I knew a gentleman like that when I was living in Central Arlington. This dude, I'll give him his, I'll give him his name, Mark. I come to know him quite a bit. He's sitting in there, Mark. I'm not going to give his real name. Anyway, Mark was going around, you know, uh, some of the some of the gangs and the inner workings of Central Arlington, Texas. And sometimes, if something wasn't happening his way, he'd start yelling out, "Hey, what about my rights?" He even approached me that way a few times. One night, I'm ashamed, I lost my temper. I told him to kind of uh, back off my face. But that's what we resorted to. And why? Because for decades, we've taken, we've taken God out of the equation. We've taken the original intent of the failing fathers out of the equation. to satisfy an, an elite those hell-bent on destroying America. Hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendrick School Leadership. Please subscribe. Until next time, keep your hope, up your hope. Keep your faith. I want you to listen. Jesus saves and we're all going to be okay. I want you to take care and be proactively informed. All right, and remember this, from the bottom of my heart, Timmy loves you. I really love you. God bless you, and have a blessed day. See you for Fearless Faith Friday.